you remember Point Break, Heat, Dog Day Afternoon? They're just movies. They're more than movies, they're blueprints. Cautionary tales for us to abide by. I think we're missing something on their profile. With what? The executives? The MO's really specific. The hits are timed out. Every six months, boom, they hit a bank. And then we don't see him again for another six months. And in three years, we, let alone the FBI, have yet to come up with a single suspect. The fact of the matter is this, we don't get greedy. Everyone. Hi, my name is Chris Notarelli. I am the director, writer, and producer of Standoff. It is a, uh, a crime thriller in the vein of Reservoir Dogs with incredibly hot and talented women. I made Standoff, actually, uh, because my first feature film, Methodic, was a horror movie and I tried getting it picked up and I was dealing with a bunch of distributors and one of them in particular said I can't sell it, it's, it's a horror movie, no one wants horror, which I'm like are you joking me? Really? Who, who says they don't want horror? Everybody likes horror. He says try making an action movie next time and he was very dismissive about the whole thing so I said okay and you know put women in the situation, do the Mexican standoff scene my way and you know that was it. I, it was yeah. Looks like we got a rat problem. Who was it? No one leaves this factory until I find the rat. It was a Greek tragedy. It's the best way to describe it, is the film is a Greek tragedy. My career as a filmmaker is uh, eight years and counting. Um, I have been uh, making movies officially since 2004. Um, I've done fan films, original work, short films, uh, music videos, commercials, and documentaries, weddings, all kinds of stuff. Basically, um, what I've just been doing is trying to hone my craft and expand as much as humanly possible. I would say I've made about uh, 200 films, give or take, in the span of about eight years. How I've made them is damn near impossible. I think it's a byproduct of having no life. Uh, <laughs> I just uh, keep doing what I like doing. Uh, to quote one of my characters, you know, I give 110% every time. The tragedy of your death will move the director of your most recent film, who will subsequently dedicate it to you. Oscar buzz will sweep Hollywood, and you will ultimately receive a posthumous award for Best Supporting Actor. A year from now, you will receive an honorary star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And in five years' time, you will be hailed as a tour de force who was taken before her time, like so many before you. Your name and your image will be immortal. The average budget on my movies ranges from negative five dollars to about fifteen to twenty dollars. Sometimes we get a little bit lucky and we get like maybe a hundred bucks. Uh, other times we aren't so lucky and our budget's like, you know, a dollar fifty. To be a filmmaker makes you into a very great thief. You steal everything, location, shots, anything that you can do to just get the job done. And that's what I do as a filmmaker. I'm a really horrible criminal. To get something like a warehouse like I used in Standoff, basically, um, I walk in anywhere I want to film and I deliberately ask the owner and I say, may I shoot here please? And they go, why? And I tell them, because I'm Chris Notarelli and I'm a filmmaker and I want to shoot here. I'm obviously a little bit more diplomatic than that, but yeah, I, uh, I ask and I get everything I want because I'm direct, I'm straightforward, uh, I'm honest, and I have a very likable face.